Hello and welcome to another episode of Cameras and Gear. And today we're going to be talking about camera bags. Now, there's never that right bag for that one occasion. And I'm a massive lover of think tank photo bags. I've got hundreds of them. Well, not exactly hundreds of them, but I've got a lot of them. And I've tried out bags from Crumpler, from uh, Low Pro, all the, the really sort of popular brands. Um, but none of them was, was really right for me. My style of photography is quite a vintage style. Um, I like old and rustic things. So I was always on the search for that bag that could sort of do everything, all of my needs. I had a certain amount of criteria. It needed to fit my laptop in. I needed to fit my camera in with about three lenses. I have a little printer I carry around with me. It needed to go in my phone uh, and a, a battery as well uh, that could charge my phone up on the go. I could never quite find a bag that was small enough that didn't really look like a camera bag for everyday use. So I tended to have a, a really small bag from just thrown over my shoulder and then I had another bag for uh, doing my street walks and another bag for doing my weddings and I had to get that down. Well, I've found the perfect bag and it is the perfect bag. Um, it's from Onya. I know it's a strange name, but I've got the website up here. Um, it's O-N-A. So if you put in O-N-A bags on your bags, uh, you'll go to their website. Now, the only place I know in the UK that actually stocks the bag is Harris Cameras as well. They're not the cheapest bags in the world. Uh, just uh, to uh, give you for instance, I've got the uh, Onya Princess Street bag. Uh, it's, a, it's a canvas and it's a, a wax canvas bag. So 100% uh, waterproof, uh, really fashionable. And we'll, we'll have a look over the bag and I'll show you exactly what I carry in it. Uh, so th this bag, it retails, I'll get the price up here so you can see exactly what it is. So that's 239 in the UK, so that's £239 in the UK. Um, and Harris uh, cameras at the moment, they're doing free postage for the bag. If you're in the States, then uh, you can buy it directly from uh, Honor. And, and I hope I'm pronounced, pronouncing that right. Um, so the Princess Street is 279 in the States. Uh, so it's a bargain price, but they are made over there. You can buy them directly from uh, the on your site and have them shipped over. Uh, I don't know how much you would save if you did that by the time it got here to the UK. And to be honest, we want to promote the best of British. So uh, go over to Harris Cameras and get it from there. And no way am I um, in conjunction with them. I just got the bag from there, really fast delivery. And I, I was quite impressed with their service. So the bag itself, like I say, it's made out of a wax canvas. Um, it's, it's got a, a load of pockets. You can fit uh, up to a, a MacBook Air. So 11 inch MacBook Air. It's got a dedicated slot for it, which it goes into. And uh, if you didn't have that, an iPad would go in. All sides of iPads would go in. And you then have about four uh, dedicated slots for lenses and cameras. Two pockets at the front as well to put everything in. So what does it look like? Well, I've got mine here, and I'm going to hold it up, and then uh, I will do a full uh, walk over it um, with the camera. But that's the bag, and it doesn't look like a camera bag. That has got a lot of gear in, and I'm going to do a real close-up. We'll see exactly what I've got in, and have a look at the bag itself. But material-wise, like I say, it's a, a wax canvas. All the detail parts are, are of a leather and a brass. So we've got a nice buckle here. It's a leather buckle and it's a brass fitting that actually clicks in. And once it's clicked in, you know, it's not going to open. Very secure for pickpockets when you're on holiday. The handle on the top is made of a really thick, durable leather as well. I do like that handle. You know, normally when you get a, a bag, it's got a, a carry handle, but they're not that much good. Um, obviously, it's got a, a strap to throw over your shoulder and it's fully padded inside. So let's head over now to the bag. I'll lay it down on the floor. We'll do a couple of close-up shots, run over the bag, and we'll see exactly what we can fit in it that I class as my day-to-day -day bag and what I normally take out on the road 
just in case I come up against a shoe. So let's do that now. This is the Anya Princess Street, and this is in um, the, the brown as well. So again, we get this lovely handle on the top, uh, brass bottles, so really nice brass bottles there, you see. But a good thick handle to lift it up. It comes with uh, a nice strap as well. You, uh, the strap is in material, and then the actual pad is in a leather bound uh, with a material on the underside, which is padded nice on the shoulder. So let's move this bag around and let's start with the back. So again, the back here, we've got a nice pocket that we can open it up. Now this is the, the thing I like about this bag. Normally you get zips on the back or it's just open, but it's actually magnetic. So it just opens up and then it'll lock back up on itself. So what I would normally carry, obviously, my um, painting boot, book, a wallet, and then I should have some business cards in here. So we've got some business cards. And that's what I would normally carry in the back. Remember, this is a bag that I'm going to carry my sort of day-to-day -day stuff in as well. So uh, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I would normally carry. Um, at the front here, the, the fasteners, I've got it open at the moment, but if we just pop them shut, you can see lovely design on the front. To open the fasteners, you just click either side and then the bag will open up. Now, it's got this little hinge that you won't see. You'll just see a crease on the top, but it opens perfectly like that. And then it's got two little flaps on the side. They fold inwards when it closes so that no water can run inside your bag because it's actually sealed now all the way around. Really well thought out. You have the a leather little emblem there, the owner. And then we come to uh, the inside of the bag. So again, I'll just show you that. You can see I've got uh, a MacBook Air there, I've got my camera and I've got some bits here. But we'll pull it all out. I'll start with the, the MacBook Air. That just slides out there, fits in nice and neat. Again, my camera, uh, I've got the EM1 and it's got the 45mm uh, on it and I've also got a really right stuff plate on. And we'll lay that a bit. Then I've also got um, a 25mm and I've also got a 17mm as well. And then in another pouch I've got a, a pack of uh, Instax. I, the reason I have Instax and I'll come to the printer is if I'm out on the street and I really see someone who I really want to take a picture of you go up and ask them, they're going to probably say no. But if you go up and say, look, if you let me take your picture, I, I, I'll give you a print now. It's, uh, it's a really good idea just to uh, have one of these. And then nine times out of ten, they're going to let you take that print. You hand them the little Instax print, you're golden. Okay. Um, I've got a battery in here. And then I've also got um, a cleaning cloth as well. So... That's sort of the inside of the bag. So if you look there, you can see that there is one, two, three, there's four compartments to put um, lenses in. And then you've also got a dedicated padded laptop compartment at the back. And like I say, the, the biggest it will fit in is an 11 inch MacBook Air. Um, obviously you could fit uh, tablets in there, not a problem. And then going on to the front, uh, I always carry a, a pen, you never know when you need to just jot something down. And then my Instax printer, always carry that around. There'll be uh, an iPhone charging lead, and then my iPhone. And then I should have, yeah, um, a battery um, uh, pack. And 
This battery pack is brilliant because it will give my iPhone three full charges on the go, so that's really handy to have. And also, it powers, obviously I've got batteries in my Instax, but if the batteries go flat, I can plug it into the side and my battery will then power my printer. Um, and the best thing, this, it takes a couple of hours to charge, but you get a lot of charges out of it. And that's made by uh, Jokerery, so J-A-C-K-E-R-Y. Um, and this is the... Um, the, the twin um, charging port. Also has a handy flashlight. If you hold the on and off button uh, down, there's got a built-in flashlight as well. So it comes in handy for, for that as well. Let's move this back a little bit so you can see everything that fits in. Okay, and that is uh, pretty much all I would carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, everything I need, I can uh, take a picture, I can uh, upload it straight to my phone, and I can print it out on the go with my Instax. If I want to put it on my laptop, then I can do some more editing and sort that out. I've got a spare battery, I've got a spare battery for my phone, spare print roll, and obviously my wallet and some business card. And for a day-to-day -day, uh, bag, I've got to say, this fits all of my needs. I'm very impressed with it. Um, so much so that I've actually uh, decided to sell off a lot of my other bags. Now, compared to what I would normally use, this is so much lighter. Um, someone did ask me, can you fit in the uh, 40 to 150 lens in this bag? Well, let me just go and get that and we will see if we can fit it in. Okay, so can we fit this into the bag? Well, you'll need to just shuffle around your dividers. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the hood off and pop the hood down. Um, so that, that is the, um, the 40 to 150, uh, the f2.8 uh, Olympus lens. And we'll see if it fits in. And there you go, straight in. Uh, you can just see it's completely uh, in there. I'm going to bring that to the camera so you can see a bit better. So that's perfectly in there. So you can easily carry that around with you if you wanted. Um, if I pop it in there, that's literally only just taken up. You see one space on the left-hand side, and not a problem. doesn't feel heavy at all. And the lens hood, yes, it will go in with the lens hood, but you will have to uh, just adjust the, the inside of the bag just slightly, maybe move uh, one of the dividers over so it fits the, um, the lens hood on the camera in as well. Personally, when I carry that, cam that lens around, I take the lens hood off to lighten it up, and I normally take the collar off as well. Uh, so it's a, a good throw in your bag and uh, nice and light. Well, there you go, guys. The uh, Onya Princess Street bag. Ideal for your day-to-day -day bag. And um, very well made. Really waterproof. And fits everything in to your photography needs running on a day. So I hope that's helped. Please do come back to watch other videos on cameras and gears. If you've got any questions, please leave them down below. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. Thanks for watching. See ya.